Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. I have yet another tour for you, this time a cargo trailer, which is fantastic. As you know, I'm obsessed with cargo trailers. I have Joel and Heather. I'm at the Van Bill Party in Parker, Arizona. This cargo trailer is for, classified as 14 feet, but the 14 feet goes from the back to this part here and then you have two feet of vino. So technically it's 16 foot plus the tug makes it about 17 feet. So it's my husband, myself, and our three kids that live in this thing. Crazy as that sounds, but it actually kind of works. This is what I would refer to as our living room, hence why it looks crazy because you know most people with kids have crazy looking living rooms, right? Um, the tarp is pretty simple. It's bolted up top and then poles. And then we, we just put tarp. Eventually we want to get a real awning and put it up there, but for now this works. And that way, if this $10 tarp rips, we're not gonna cry about it, but it gives us you know, shade when we're hanging out. And, we, oh, we have it lifted. It's lifted about six to eight inches. So we can fit our gray tank under there. Um, it's double axle. We got windows put in. Outside light up there we put in. And then the back side is all storage. So this is our back. Kind of like our little garage area. It's super nice. We, uh, it's a foot in, and this is a false wall. So our beds are on the other side of that, and then it's got thick enough board. We hung everything to it, and then this is underneath the queen storage bed. So that's all storage right now. We've got everything over because it's the van build, so we're modifying not only our stuff, we can help modify other people's stuff too. Um, so back in here also is the the fresh water tank right now it's 14 gallons we'd like to upgrade to probably like 200 gallons so I would say the most we could go is about four days before we have to refill it we have 350 watts of solar on top um, with two panels and we have actually a you'd have to ask Joel this one but it's a little like wall $80 Walmart battery that's been working for like two years for us that's another upgrade eventually to get it uh, to like golf cart batteries. These are all the states we've been to. The first summer we did 20 states in a tent for three months. And so we started in Oklahoma, went all the way to upstate New York and came back. Well, sorry, we uh, got to like Maryland. A uh, family member died, went to California and then camped our way back. And then the second year we did five months in this thing with, uh, without a bathroom system in it actually. And we went west up and then came back down. Um, and then this year in March, we decided to go full time use this um, until we can get something a little bit bigger but uh, yeah we've just been all over the place this year due to weather and truck engine blowing and all sorts of fun stuff so this year's kind of been like uh, I don't know <laughs> all over the place all right let's go see inside here we have mine and Joel's closet and the jacket closet so we used to have them hanging and then it just wasn't conducive so now we've got shelves in there so, and then our bathroom stuff, would, where he's sitting at is our bathroom, so it kind of reaches. Um, this was originally a ferret cage, because we had two ferrets. Unfortunately, one of them passed away. And um, because we don't have heat or AC in here, we felt really bad about leaving them. So we gave the second ferret away to a really nice family. But now it's our laundry area. So, um, this is like two to three weeks worth of clothes for three kids. It, it goes all, oh. That's there. That's why. All right. So this here is a false wall. So this goes, this storage and this storage is all the way back to the V. So it's very deep. That's why I'm able to put that much kid clothes in there. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this. It's got everything you can think of in there. School supplies, food, wipes, I mean, everything. So, and like I said, it goes all the way back to the V and then it goes all the way out each side. So it's behind this cabinet and then behind this cabinet. So it's a lot of storage. Pain to get to everything, but at least you have it, right? This is a 12 volt TV. It's a 19 inch. Um, and then when we're traveling, I can get, yep, it stores back up there. So then also when you're like doing big dishes, I can put stuff away like this comes off and then I can have all the counter space. So up here are my school supplies. Um, I obviously homeschool our kids because we travel around the country all the time. I was homeschooling way before we got on the road though. So that just kind of made it easier when we decided to go full time. These baskets um, are for you know, fruits, vegetables, bread. Right now they have toothbrushes in them. Um, but they're screwed to the wall so that way when we're traveling down the road, they stay. Um, 
sink dishes. That seems pretty explanatory. Kitchen stuff, miscellaneous junk. Everybody's got those drawers. Um, so the two biggest things, complaints I would say in an RV is there's never any place to put your trash and there's never any place to put your shoes. So voila, problem solved. Shoes, trash, we're good to go. Because having a trash can rolling around, this thing would drop me nuts. Um, this is all of our like spices and pots, pans, tin plates from when we don't use paper. Um, this stove, this hood vent, and that converter down there came out of a 50 something motor home where the floor was falling through, so my husband bought them all for like 50 bucks, which was awesome. I really like this stove. Um, the oven's okay. It doesn't distribute heat evenly, so that kind of drives me nuts, but that's fine. This is probably my favorite add-on this year. This is our hot water heater. Holds up to six gallons of hot water. So, really nice for showering and washing dishes. Alright, over here we have our fridge. And it came out of a 78 motor home. It's been through, I think, like two tornadoes in Oklahoma. Anyway, my husband got it to work. And so, obviously, all of our foodstuffs need to go shopping. <laughs> but... Considering it's like 40 something years old, it's pretty awesome that it works. All of these are all like my school books that I teach them from. This is our solar car charge controller, so we can monitor what's going up there. Our battery is underneath the bed, but I'm not going through all that. There's there's an access panel where we can get underneath um, the queen bed to at least get a few things that are right there. Um, so these are queen bunk beds. The kids all share the top for right now and then my husband and I have the bottom which usually ends up being invaded by at least two or three of them anyway so you know we're kind of just all you know jumbled up here. And then this is probably my favorite add-on this year so far. So as we can see the towels which would indicate this would be the bathroom area. Um, because at first we had the porter potty just kind of hanging out in here and let me tell you pooping in the middle of the room is really weird. So adding the catch box and the curtain makes it a lot better so the potty comes out and then we can stand in there and uh, shower the kids and then shower ourselves it's not something that you hang out in it's just like a marine shower you get wet you soap up you clean off um, the really cool thing we did last month is we fiberglass this so we were using flex seal which is a good product but if it's for high volume um, and, and high volume high use no, sorry, high volume, high traffic, it's not very helpful. So it was chipping off and stuff. So we actually fiberglass this, and I really like it. It helps it stay cleaner, longer, and don't have to worry about chipping. So our curtain is on a track. So we have one that's kind of, you know, the pretty looking one. Kind of, you know, makes it a little bit more privacy. And then we have the clear off-white off one that's the functional one. Keeps all the water in. So we open it up and it goes along this track, it goes around the toilet and then you have privacy for using the restroom and then containment for water. So these are our vents, right? This one and the one he's standing under have fans. Um, they work fairly well. I think eventually we'll switch them out to bigger fans. We actually just put in um, black covers which are so much nicer than the white covers so if you're contemplating that do the black ones because you can always turn lights on for light but when you're like Walmart parking lot or even in a campground and there's lots of lights it still feels like daytime so I like the the black vents have made it really nice to try to for sleeping um, this is just a vent it's got no fan and that was done on purpose because it's wired for AC uh, eventually we'll get AC in here possibly but at least there's an option for it Thank you, Heather, for the tour of your cargo trailer conversion. That's really fabulous. I am amazed at everything you've done and everything you've been able to fit in there. Yeah, that was... Especially for a family. Mm-hmm. So how is it having a family of five in a cargo trailer? Uh, I would say if it was a bigger cargo trailer, it wouldn't be as bad. No, it's not too bad. It is kind of cramped because there is five of us in there. So I'm definitely thinking like something bigger here shortly mm -hmm. would be more preferred but in in all reality it's not too bad because we spend a lot of time outside we'd go a lot of places we do a lot of things so the trade-off is well worth it and and we did do a really great job with that space like having I mean we we have the essentials a, a table would be great but mm -hmm. <laughs> we got you know sleeping place eating place and a cleanup place so 
I can't complain. And you spend right. a significant time amount of time outside, right? Yes. Okay. So we're always, you know, we're trying to hike or bike or, mm. you know, go different places, explore different things. Mm. Um, you would be surprised how much free stuff there is to do around this country. So we try mm. to hit up a lot of those things. Joel and Heather have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to put a link down below. So if you're interested in following them and their journeys as they travel with their family, then I highly recommend you check out their channel. I'm going to go check out and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment, and I'll see you in a future video tour.